ever wondered how different supports and loads affect beam calculations? These three questions will put your structural intuition to the test. From simple spans to complex load calculations, let's break down the key principles that govern deflected shapes. Think you can get all three correct? Let's see how well you understand the structural behavior. By the way, if you're new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer in structural engineering and design at University of East London. And in here, we talk about structural engineering. This is part of my video series on iStructi, structural behavior, or if you are someone who wants to improve the basics of structural engineering, this video is for you. In this question, we have to draw the correct reflected shape and we have to choose from four options. I, I suggest that you solve this question first before looking at the solution. We have loading applied at the end and we have loading applied at left span. Option C is discarded because we have rotation happening over here. Rotation is not possible when we have a fixed support and Option B is not possible as well, although we have loading over here and we have loading over here, which makes sense, but we have nothing in between. So this should not go down. There's no reason for that. So this is wrong. And option A is incorrect as well because we have loading over here and we have loading at the end. This is right. But why is this remaining a straight line? There's no reason for that. So this is wrong. By process of elimination, the only option left is option D. And I will prove it with the help of bending moment diagram and direction of reactions as well, so that everything matches with each other. Let's go and solve it in detail. Here, firstly, I will start from right side. With the help of loading, this will go down and this will go up. To bring this diagram down, I should have a downward reaction so when I have a downward reaction it will go down if I have downward reaction over here then here I should have upward reaction and this force is causing it to go down and once it is down then it will look like this so we have tension over here we have tension over here and again we have tension at the top so we will draw the diagram so first BMD, BMD is drawn positive downwards and negative upwards. And our sign convention is anti-clockwise shear forces are positive. Clockwise moments are positive from left. Anti-clockwise moments from right, they are positive. So we will have upward reaction, downward reaction, and here we will have upward reaction. This force is causing a clockwise moment from right the clockwise moment from right has to be negative so that's the reason i will draw it on the negative side once i've got this moment because we have downward force over here the moment is going to go down and it will be sagging at this point so once i've got sagging then again i have some moment at this point so it will go down and then I have upward reaction which means that the reaction moment has to be anti-clockwise so anti-clockwise means that it will cause some kind of hogging at the top so this is how we draw BMD which is bending moment diagram once I've got bending moment diagram then it's easier for me to draw SFD and SFD is drawn positive at top and negative at bottom. The direction of reactions is given. Not given, we just found out. From here, I have a clockwise diagram. When I have a clockwise diagram, then clockwise is drawn on the negative side because anti-clockwise shear forces are positive. This is my assumption. So I will go down and then between these two forces, there's nothing here. The force is going up so this is sft and between these two points there's nothing and at this point this force is going down but it is not changing the side so you can see that moment diagram is not changing the sides as well 
so shear force will not change sides over here then we will go slightly towards right and at right side it will go down and then between these two forces I've got nothing and at right side it will go up so this is how we draw a safety shear force diagram so the correct option is option D let me move to the next question this is a simple one we have to draw the deflected shape under loading given and anti-clockwise moment not anti-clockwise clockwise moment is applied over here it is a propped cantilever beam when we have moment applied at a certain point it will always switch the sides it will always try to push one side up and push one side down which is not happening over here it means this is wrong and this option is wrong as well it looks like we have applied a load over here and it is causing deflection like this so this is wrong this option is wrong because D is wrong because at fixed support I should have no rotation but here rotation theta is happening so this is wrong this leaves me only with one option which is option B. sorry it's not wrong it is the right one right my apologies let me solve it in detail and then you will be able to understand what I'm trying to say here so as this is a clockwise moment so it will take this one up and it will take this one down now once I've got this it means that the direction of reaction over here is upwards and direction of reactions over here is downwards and this is a clockwise moment so we should have anti-clockwise moment over here this is the sign convention which I will use for all these examples anti-clockwise shear forces are positive clockwise moments are positive from left anti-clockwise moments from right they are positive we have upward reaction over here and we have downward reaction here and we have anti-clockwise moment and I'm going to draw BMD and BMD is drawn negative at top positive at bottom and wherever you have this moment applied this is going to take the diagram up and it's going to bring this side of diagram down so as this is in sagging so that's why I've drawn this in sagging and the top one is in hogging that's why I've drawn it in hogging and at reaction you can see that we have anti-clockwise moment which is causing the beam to bend down so that's why we have sagging over here and in this region we have hogging moment this is our bending moment diagram how about shear force diagram shear force diagram is simple we just have two forces and these two forces are creating sorry this is downwards these two forces are creating anti-clockwise forces for SFD we draw positive forces upwards and negative forces downwards and if the forces are creating anti-clockwise moment so they should be drawn on the positive side so this means that I will draw it like this nothing is happening between these two forces and then I will bring this one down so now I have shear force diagram so the correct option is option B let me move to this next question and here load is applied in this span and we have to find out correct deflected shape firstly load is applied over here so why is this going down I don't understand so option A is eliminated then it leaves me with a couple of options and as this is going up we have UDL at this portion so UDL will bring the diagram down but here it's not going down so this option is incorrect as well now I'm left with option C and option 
D, one of them is right. Intuitively, I feel that because these two spans, they are equal, an equal load is applied here as well. So this pin, as a result, will not carry any shear force in this span. So it will not transfer any shear force. So shear in this pin is going to be zero. And I will prove it in a minute with the help of some values. And from there, you will understand that why am I saying it, which means that the entire load will be taken by a reaction over here. When the entire load is taken by the reaction, then this portion cannot go down. It means that option D is the correct one, but I will prove it in a minute and we will see that if our assumption is right or wrong. This is the sign convention which I will use for all these examples. Anti-clockwise shear forces are positive. Clockwise moments are positive from left. Anti-clockwise moments from right, they are positive. So here, let me assume that this is 10 kN. And let me assume that this is 10 kN per meter. And let's assume that this is 2 meters, 2 meters, and 2 meters, and 2 meters, 2 meters. And finally, I have 2 meters over here. Let me isolate this portion between this pin support and internal pin. And we have loading 10 kN per meter. And we have a reaction, let's call it as RA. And the distances are 2 meters and 2 meters. Call this as B and say that reaction over here is RB. When we say summation of moment at B is equal to zero, then we will have RA into two, this distance is two, minus 10 times the total span is four and it is acting at half is equal to zero, two and two will get canceled. So RA will be equal to 40 kilonewton. When RA is 40 kilonewton, the total load itself is equal to 10 times 4, which is 40 kilonewton. It means that the entire loading is taken by RA and RB is going to be 0. This means that the pin is not transferring any load. So then I will start here from the pin. So from the pin, I have a roller and then again I have a roller over here a load is applied 10 kN and here I will have reaction of 5 kN and reaction of 5 kN this is 2 meters 2 meters it is double overhanging beam 2 meters and I can find out its reaction over here which is 40 kN and I have upward reaction 5 kN. I have upward reaction 5 kN. Moment here at this point, let's say that it is point E. So moment at E will be equal to moment of a simply supported beam, which will be PL over 4. PL over 4. P is 10. L is 4 divided by 4, which is 10 kN meter. And moment from this overhang portion will be at A will be equal to WL into L by 2. WL is load times span. So 10 times span times L by 2. Span is 2 over here times 2 divided by 2. So it will be 20 kN meter. Moment will be equal to 10 kN meter. And between these two points, I have, nothing is changing. And at this point, I will have a curved distribution of 20 kN meter. And in the same way, I will draw the diagram for shear force. Shear force, I have 5 kN, 5 and 5 here. And I have 20 over here. Remember that this is my sign convention. Anticlockwise shear forces are positive. BMD is drawn as positive downwards and negative upwards, but SFD is drawn as 
positive upwards and negative downwards and moments clockwise are positive from left anti-clockwise are positive from right and here it will go up by 5 this is 10 and then again it will go down by 5 and here it will go this way and go up nothing is happening between these two points and then I have a downward force of W5 into 10 into 2 this is not 20 this is 40 so then I have a downward force of this is 10 so 10 times 2 will give me 20 so when I have 20 over here then this will go up 40 so I will have 20 at the top and then again due to this UDL it will go down so finally the reaction the shear force diagram will look like this thanks for watching this lecture today if you want to watch the entire video series go to this URL or scan this barcode you'll be able to see entire playlist